Hello everyone, welcome back to Minecraft Into the Freeze, my survival let's play series where I survive the freeze. Now, I actually got a question from one of my viewers uh, in one of my previous episodes asking what happened to me and why I was only in uh, balls. Why I was only uh, using stone tools and my gold pickaxe. So, That's a train. Lovely. It's a, a train one right as he starts recording. It's fine. Anyway, as I was trying to. S oh my god. I don't know if my mic is picking up the train horn at all, but it's pretty loud where I am. Anyway. As I'm trying to say, basically, the reason I'm still on with the gold tools is because mending. Mending is very important. And yeah, and also stone is easier to come by right now because I don't have an iron box. <laughs> so it's just a matter of convenience and personal preference. If I had an iron farm, I would probably consider. And I use the thing probably loosely with upgrading the iron. But right now, I'm fine. I have everything I need. Both tools and mending, so they work for my pickaxes, uh, the coal, stuff like that. It's fine. Um, I do hope that answers those questions. I've also kept getting comments about my mic being quiet. Uh, I don't quite know why, because I have my mic volume set like as high as it'll go for picking up. So I really don't know why, because even as I look now, it says the mic's picking up decently uh, in terms of quality. So I cannot explain why that is. But it's fine. Anyway, um, I'm gonna keep figuring out my plans uh, in terms of this. Um, in terms of like planning out the mine and stuff. Because so far it's going good. I've been expanding, as we know. Um, more granite would be nice. Simply because of the uh, main project down there, the farm. Because that big farm complex does use a lot of granite anyway. So that might be one of my goals for now. Collect as much as possible. Oh, that broke. That definitely broke. <laughs> it's fine. It's only like 2 in the morning. Almost 3 in the morning. I'm only recording four episodes during this session as well because uh, big plans are coming up. Absolutely big plans. And I'm sure you all will enjoy. I've noticed iron. I'm gonna probably go for some of this iron uh, once I make sure there's no hostile mobs that'll murder me. I think that's my biggest problem with this entire cave network, is just the amount of uh, hostile mobs that can kill me that are present here. I just realized this area isn't very well lit at all, which isn't good at all. Because if it's not well lit, that causes problems. If that makes sense, of course. So far, there don't seem to be too many mobs. Like, it's weird. I do see gravel that's a hazard, though. So I'm gonna avoid the gravel, but I'm finding a lot of iron here, which is actually good. Also, a very weirdly generated cave. This is peak Minecraft cave in here. <laughs> 
this is a very unusual and bizarre uh, formed cave I found. I kind of like it. I mean, this entire network is pretty uh, weirdly formed, if you ask me. There's like little drop-offs, and there's also the water here and everything. It's very uh, unusually generated terrain. I kind of like it. Probably shouldn't lose all my torches just yet. Make my way back to the base. Uh, I wonder what I could use this area for, though. Most certainly it's going to be good for something, but the question is what? Um, maybe a farmland? Another farm? Another farming sector? Who knows? I mean, it does come out basically above the, uh... Yeah, it does come out basically above... So, I don't know what it's used for, but these caves are fascinating to, uh, explore and everything. I mean, I've spent most of this episode just randomly, mindlessly, uh, mindlessly or aimlessly wandering the caves. So that's just about every episode, though. It's fine. Saplings. More saplings in the area, really. Especially when far underground. So the amount of uh, the fact that I found some genuine grass is good. The only issue is that I'm not going to get unless I get stove touch, which requires obsidian. Which requires diamonds. Do I even have enough diamonds for a diamond pickaxe? Saplings here for now. I have just enough for a diamond pickaxe. Hmm. And I also have a but I don't know if I'm gonna ever find more diamonds. Maybe that's what uh, I should do in these uh, upcoming episodes is actually search for diamonds. I mean, as they say. Diamonds are forever. <laughs> Might be a good idea. I have lapis. Um, but yeah, maybe I should. So I'm gonna go uh, down deeper. Question is though, I don't know if I'm gonna get lucky with diamonds or not. I mean, what what is the level diamonds spawn at is the question. What is the level of diamonds spot at? I'm gonna look it up real quick. I'm gonna look it up very, very quick. Look this up. <laughs> Cause I am a noob, I'm an idiot. Well, I'm not a noob, I've been playing Minecraft since it bloody came out. But still. Diamonds only spawn on layer 15 and lower. Nope, as of 2023, they spawn between negative 53 and negative 61. Okay. Never mind. Okay, okay, okay. So I've got to go down. I've got to go down in a bit. This, but the depths of my uh, cave here just to look for bloody diamonds. Are you kidding me? Thankfully, uh, we'll check the chicken farm, shall we? 13 eggs, nice. There we go. Two, two of them 
the spawn. This is this is this is what I do sometimes. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm gonna begin the quest for diamonds, I guess. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed the episode, please like, please subscribe. You know the drill. Bye.